Hi guys, welcome to how to make an app with no programming experience. It's Angela from the London App Brewery and in this episode we're going to learn all about arrays. So what exactly are arrays? It's just basically a fancy word for a container. Let me show you what I mean. When you look inside our assets.exe assets folder, you can see that we've got a number of dice images that we put in in one of the previous episodes. So we've got dice 1 all the way to dice 6, representing all six possible faces of the dice. So if we go back into our main.storyboard, you can see that we've got the number 1 and 2 displayed here. But of course we want a random face to show up every single time we press the roll button or when we shake our phone. So how do we store all of these dice images? Well, we're going to use something called an array. It's easier to explain about arrays in terms of an egg box. So here I have a egg box containing six eggs and they are named egg one, egg two, egg three, egg four, egg five and six. So six of them. And the one at the leftmost is at index zero. So whenever you're dealing with computers, computers always start counting from zero and counts up. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. So egg six is in fact at index five and everything is shifted up by one. So say if I wanted to make an omelet, but I'm very picky about which eggs I want to use. And I only want to use eggs that are even. So I want egg two, egg four and egg six. Then I would pull out the eggs at index one, three and five. So an array is merely a way of containing objects. It's just a container and you use the index of the arrays to pull out and refer to objects within. Now, in order to increase um, the size of my view controller file, I'm actually going to get rid of the assistant editor and only have the uh, and only have the code file on the screen. So the shortcut is Command Enter to go back into the main editor, and I'm just going to click on the view controller to make it show up on the, on the main screen, and then we can get rid of the console down here by pressing Command Shift Y. Now I use. Uh, shortcuts a lot in Xcode because it just saves me a bit of time um, and if you want to pick up on some really useful shortcuts then I've compiled a list for you um, and you can download it in the link in the description box below all right so now we're gonna make our array so we're gonna make a constant which is declared by using the keyword let so let dice array which is of type string array. So the square brackets in a lot of languages is a uh, shorthand for declaring an array. So here we're saying that we're going to make an array that contains a string. So strings are just strings of characters such as the names of our images such as die 6 or dice 1. And we're going to set it to equal open square bracket dice 1 dice 2 and we're going to name it sequentially all the way up to dice 6. And remember to separate them with the commas. Okay, great. So we now have the six dice image image names contained within our string array. Let's try to get a deeper understanding of arrays. Um, so I've opened up a new playground file. You can type along with me or you can just watch as I'm demonstrating. So I'm just going to paste in what I wrote before. So a little bit of code that declared a constant named dice array that's of type string array and it contains six objects which are strings and they are the names of our dice images. And over here in the playground, you can see the array printed out in the same way. So I want to pull out the one that has a three um, on the dice face. Then I would say print dice array, open square bracket, close square bracket. And in here, I'm going to choose the index, which pulls out dice three. Now, which one do you think that will be? So 
if this is 0, 1, 2. So it's actually the number 2. So let's pop up our console and you can see dice 3 printed there. So if I pick number 5, then it will show dice 6. And what happens if I go beyond the range? Say if I pick out index 6, because we know that the index ends at 5. And there we go. We get a error log in the console saying fatal error, array index out of range. Now just try and remember this short snippet of error um, because you might get this quite frequently. And whenever you read this, then it means that you're trying to pull out something from your array that doesn't exist, such as the sixth um, object in our dice array, which does not exist. So let's change that back to 3. And as predicted, it will pull out dice 4. So this is what we're going to do in our app. We're going to generate a random number that goes into here. So we'll have, um, say, let my number equal 2. And in here, instead of typing in the number, we're just going to put in my number. And it's going to find the image uh, or the string in the dice array at the index of my number, which at the moment it's 2. So if I had a random number that was 5, uh, then it would be dice 6, or if I had a random number that was 1, etc. So if I ha generate a bunch of random numbers between 0 and 5, then I will be able to pull out a random dice faces. Now of course arrays don't have to just contain strings. You can have number arrays which contain uh, integers and they would be declared like so. We can even make an array that contains arrays, array of array and we can set it to be um, dice array and number array. So this is in fact a 2D array um, which is a matrix. So if we go ahead and print um, let's say array, array of array at index zero, then it will print out all the objects that are inside dice array, which is dice one, two, three, four, five, six. And if we print out the one at index one, then it will be one, two, three. Now, because it is a matrix and a 2D array, we can actually go further and pull out another index. So at the moment, we've got array of array, let's go ahead and change that back to zero, and we've got uh, the dice array basically. So we can actually pull out the first, so we can pull out dice one from the dice array by appending another zero index onto there, and you'll see that it pulls out dice one. And if we here change dice uh, to dice six, etc. And this is what's called a 2D array. In the next episode, we're going to make some random numbers, which will act as the random index for us to pull out a random dice face image. So stay tuned, and I hope to see you in the next lesson. Please remember to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.